Hello, my lovely Leos. How you guys are doing? I hope everybody's well. Leo, today we'll do your reading for the dailies for the 13th and the 14th of September. I hope it resonates whatever message I'm delivering here. So please take what's yours and leave what's not. As you know, it's a general read. My resonate with you, love. My not. I try to pull the strongest energy for you. But if you see more, please take what is there. So let's see here, Leo, what we got in your overall energy and how we're moving forward. High Priestess. Pisces card, but I definitely see here you are very, very in tune with your energy. Is that vibration like I know what I gotta do? I know what is happening around me or what's happening with this person. Definitely you see beyond this person. It's not like you see how they are or what they speak, like you feel this person. It is a very strange feeling for you, but you feel them. It's kind of whatever you think is just exactly what that's happening. And underneath we have sun. And I feel here, whatever is out there in your mind, in your thoughts, it is happening. Something lovely is happening. Let's see here. What's about it? The High Priestess. We have Judgment. Five of Swords. Magician. King of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Death. Three of Swords, Ten of Wands, and Five of Cups. All right, loves. Somebody here wants a second chance or take it over from the start. They might live out of distance. You might be in with them back and forward or on and off. Started something, ending something over a year now. This past year was very back forth, back forth, back forth. And you... You really want to move forward, as this is your card, lo loves. For many of you, you might deal with the Pisces, but it's need of balance. And it's not only with this person, but in general in your life. Because sun and moon is day and night. Like this person comes back. I definitely see here somebody wants to reconcile with you. You kind of waited for them or you kind of like sense that this person is coming. I don't feel right now you're talking with this person, Leo, but they're coming, believe it or not, and they come very change. If back then were well, some, somebody, for example, very cruel, bad, now they are very mellow. If they was in the past, they the opposite because it's day and night energy. It's very different energy between you and this person right now as they are coming back. And yes, it's a very transformational offer. It's a very different offer than whatever they give it to you back then. They could be a very selfish person in the past or could be fight between you and this person. You know, you know who I'm talking, Leo, because it's nobody new. You could deal here with the Scorpio or with an earth sign with Scorpio in the chart or a Scorpio with earth in the chart. But this person could be a Gemini too, but could be any sign as we have the magician here. But I definitely see here you manifest this comeback of this person. Although I see here still distance between you two. Also what I'm feeling here, this person really regrets how the things ended between you two. Also they have been so broken and just not being with you, around you, feel them very hurt. And I definitely see here, you didn't put with their BS in the past. You could even speak whatever they had over there and then shut down. I definitely see here, for some of you, you gave them a silent treatment or they give it to you a silent treatment. Because I don't feel you both talking right now. And definitely whatever you manifested, if you shut down the communication and moved on, 
and you say like it is what it is I don't want to be in a third party or something like that because it was somebody else probably you turn the back and try to move on from them or at least that's what you told them and this person I definitely see here they have a lot of remorse whatever or how this relationship ended between you and them they want a new beginning but this time they want something stable for some of you, by surprise, this person is thinking to propose to you or wants to be in a real commitment. If, was, if they've been unstable in the past, Leo, now they are more stable than they've been. But they've been probably hurt in the past. That's why they reacted the way they did. But I definitely see here is somebody coming after something end. This person still regrets here. Could be just one-sided relationship because I feel here one gave it more and the other not. Could be even a third party. We have two, three of swords. I don't feel this person and this five of cups. I don't feel this person is right now with anybody or you, Leo. I definitely see here somebody ended a third party but ended in not a very well uh, or good standing. But let's see here why this argument was being here. Why this five of swords? Because I definitely see here it is a change. It is a big change for you, Leo. Five death and five of cups. If this person was miserable or bad in the past, their behavior is changed towards you. They see differently now. And they, they see that they they messed up tower i feel here somebody just said something and left and that's you you might said them you know i'm not here to for you to took it, take advantage of me do what you need to do and then we can have something else i don't want to be in any relationship who is somebody else involved because i see here you took action to end whatever this person was putting you into. And it's kind of like, you Leo, I know my worth and I know what I gotta do. And I'm not here. Even you feel like that's selfish. I'm not waiting for you. I'm not here. It's like surprisingly to them, you made a very bold move just removing yourself from that. But this person doesn't accept that. Somebody have been a player in the past or been in that energy here. For some of you, you actually deal with the Scorpio. We have two Scorpio cards. But this person does love you, Leo. They absolutely love you. But let's see here why they do regret in here. Why this Five of Cups? Could be you regretting, but I feel here you got the strength to move and remove yourself for some of you you just like removing from this third party relationship made you stronger or if in the past you didn't know really your worth just putting this burden down or foot down made you feel stronger although you you thought that's done and over between you two but i don't feel it's done and over between you two let's see here why is the death nine of wands you know they are coming with a new offer but you are not sure should i take it or not do i will they are uh, change or do they change or not but they coming because they do love you they absolutely does love you and they they change their offer so leo i definitely see here it's it's kind of out of blue but it's kind of you expect for them to come in Whatever message, whatever call you will receive from this person, because I definitely see here is still distance, and distance because was no communication. I feel here after no communication, you might not communicate with this person even a year, because it shows me Ace of Pentacles. Pentacles are ears here, so you might not talk with them for some of you for for a year, for some of you for ten weeks and up. You sense this person. You, anyway, you feel like, you know, I gotta do what I gotta do and move forward. And now you're just like, wow, they really text and call me. 
but you knew all this time even you feel like wow it's such a long time you knew that they will uh, will contact you yes so loves i feel here you need to be aware somebody from your past it's somebody you ended the relationship with them they will contact you again and be prepared for for a talk and from an offer from them so my lovely leo again you could deal with a scorpio with earth in the chart taurus virgo capricorn or a taurus virgo capricorn with water in the chart i see pisces and i see scorpio and i see you also i see a gemini for some of you yeah all right my lovely leo this is what i got loves and of course we'll see you tomorrow namaste